Well, get to Al-Khabarim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And uh, this morning, guys, just a quick take of our broadcast. Wanted to share something with you here from the State Department. Um, also, let me just, before I head to the State Department, by the way, it is December the 16th, uh, Friday, uh, 2016. And I'll we'll quickly let you know there is a situation that is unfolding in uh, Mount Vernon, Washington right now. A standoff between police and a gunman. He actually shot a police officer in the head, according to RT reports there. Uh, and is held up in a house there in Mount Vernon, Washington with hostages. And right now, no one seems to know who these hostages are or what's going on there. Uh, moving right along on the press briefing today uh, with John Kirby here, and I need to kind of pull this down because I know my audio is pretty low on the computer for some reason on this particular report. Um, but John Kirby is actually asked by Saeed. He is a, uh, a news uh, reporter there in the State Department that uh, asks questions like many others, like Gayan from RT. Generally, Saeed is pretty much right along with the uh, U.S. narrative, but this time he asked a challenging question to uh, uh, John Kirby, and John Kirby I don't think liked it very well. He challenges the U.S. State Department on its narrative about the uh, citizens inside of eastern Aleppo, and when he does, John Kirby doesn't like that very well because it's uh, basically saying, you're, you're wrong, and there's evidence that, that there is a lot of celebration. It's not like the State Department has said that these people are all hating the Syrian government, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And tonight, by the way, we're going to be going into a lot of the things that are said at the State Department, especially with John Kirby, Mark Toner, uh, and how they respond to reporters, especially those reporters that don't share the narrative of the Obama administration. So let's get right into this. I want you to be able to hear this uh, and very interesting uh, commentary that happens here between uh, Mark uh, um, John Kirby and Saeed. Uh, with uh, some of their uh, light weapons. Uh, but again, we have to, you know, the proof's going to be in the pudding here. We have to see what happens. Because, you know, there are all these reports about uh, atrocities and so on, and I'm not in any way questioning uh, their possible credibility. But also, I saw other reports where people are jubilant, they're happy to see the Army command, they're going to the left and side where they can get, you know, medicine and food and so on and all these things. So it is not all just one one dimension. Would you agree with that? No, I don't, Say. I mean, I, I haven't seen every picture coming out of, of, of Aleppo. But you haven't seen I, I haven't seen, honestly, Say, I haven't seen any dancing in the streets here. So, uh, no, I'm not saying, I'm saying people are... Well, no, you said they, jubilant, they're happy, well, and they're... I mean, okay, maybe I... I, yeah, I, I think was, maybe you did okay. overspeak. People were relieved to see that they are... I, I think at this point, there's probably people that would be relieved for right. any sense of calm in their lives after what... Okay, now, that just really kind of uh, is irritating to see that Saeed actually is afraid to say his own opinion. Because Mark Toner, or excuse me, John Kirby here is uh, very quick to uh, correct him, and, uh, and and quite frankly tells him, yeah, yeah, you did overspeak. It sounds more like the uh, the military uh, commander that he was. He is, you know, former admiral of the U.S. military. So, all right. In all fairness, Mr. Kirby, let's let's take a serious look at this and see what the facts are. Because you say you've not seen any pictures. Well, if you tune into Israeli News Live, we'll make sure you get to see some today. Because there are pictures, in fact, about these celebrations. And I'm only going to show you a few here, but I'm going to make sure that you can see some things that are going on here so that you can see it for yourself. All right, so let's take and let's uh, zoom this one in because it doesn't allow you to blow the picture up there. So we kind of have to do it like this here. And this here is one example of right after uh, people being freed from East Aleppo in the victory zone. People are dancing in the streets. That's one of the early on pictures there of what was happening. Um, oh, ended up going the uh, wrong way there. Let's see here. Nope, that's... Okay, residents celebrate. All right, here's another one for you. Uh, now that one there is just, okay, wait a minute, right here I believe it is. Um, you get down here. Again, people are celebrating, they're excited, they're shooting guns in the air, they're holding up pictures of President Bashar al-Assad. Um, 
So again, more and more people are, are ecstatic about it. Not to mention all the reports that are coming out. And we'll get into this, like I said, later this evening. Let me let me take though real quick and let's go here. This is an actual news report from Press TV. Liberation of the Syrian people, and as she stated, they were celebrating. Earlier, the Syrian army said 99% of eastern Aleppo had been secured. In its latest push, the army seized Bardus Wustan of Basra and Zibdia neighborhoods. The government forces, backed by Russian airstrikes, launched their all out offensive to retake Aleppo okay. in July. The operation has been going up. John Kirby, uh, just so you're aware of, uh, of course, Press TV here, this is an Arabic channel here, and uh, they very much seem to be. Uh, supporting the fact that the people from eastern Aleppo are jubilant and excited about being released. So, Saeed, God bless you for having the courage to uh, stand and bring this fact out, uh, but I'm very much, I'm sure you're just probably afraid to uh, stand there and face John Kirby and bring any other challenges. Gayan, on the other hand, is not, well, she might be a little bit scared sometimes, but she's not afraid to at least ask those questions, and she stays right at it. So, anyway, we'll be bringing these things out later to you this evening. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.